All right, another update uh, from this adventure. <laughs> so, uh, uh, let's see. So the place, the city that they had us in, after we could not get into um, to Erbil, the plane would not land in Erbil. Uh, from that city, they actually brought us back to Istanbul uh, to await another flight to finally head to Erbil whenever, I guess, they deemed it ready uh, to be in Erbil at that point. Uh, the thing that they, it seems like they're dealing with is um, some uh, uh, drone and bombing attempts and stuff that happened on the, the U.S. military base there close by, <coughs> um, the uh, around uh, near the airport. And so they shut it down for a while. So the place right now, so we're back in Istanbul, and then we're looking to take a, a, a flight out uh, at uh, midnight, or sometime tonight. Um, that's the kind of the that's the that's where we're headed. <laughs> uh, so we left out Tuesday at uh, lunchtime on a six-hour drive to Houston, and then we've been trying to fly and get to Erbil ever since. Uh, we brought we brought some change of like shirts and stuff, but for the most part, we got the same clothes on for a few days. Uh, so we're. Uh, we're doing all right, but we're not smelling our greatest. <laughs> um, the kids were able to get a little bit of rest this this uh, afternoon, and then, as I said, we're going to try to uh, try this again uh, tonight. See if we can get see if we can take this flight from Istanbul Istanbul to Erbil. Um, I was looking at this thing from John Piper. Uh, it's an article that I love that he wrote. Is uh, and there's a quote in it. And it's about God frustrating our efficiency, and that's one of the quotes he says. He says that one one of God's greatest means of sanctifying us is by frustrating our efficiency. And uh, uh, if you can find that article, it'd be good to go check out. I think it's re it's, a, it's really good and true. Um, and it really is an acknowledgement that God's in control of all things. You know, uh, that's what Joseph said. Joseph said, uh, you know, what you meant for evil. So people had done so many horrible things to him. He went through a lot worse than what we're going through. <laughs> and, and he says, what you meant for evil, God meant it for good. And uh, I think that's a sweet acknowledgement of his sovereignty. And we know that one of the ways that God sanctifies us and, and calls us to call out to him and lean on his sovereignty is by frustrating our efficiency. So we can trust him even in those moments. <laughs>